So if we summarize this user input, when we give it to the agents, they are essentially working with something called an orchestrator. This can have different modes. And if you look at the documentation of agents, you will see that we have a couple of things here. First of all, we have multiple agents here or kinds of agents, and all of them extend the same base agent class, which means that they have the same properties as the base agent class. Now, the first one is an LLM agent. You can call this the actual agent that does something. It's going to perform some actions. It could do reasoning. It could have some tools. For example, it could have the Google search tool or writing to the file system tool, etc., etc. And then we have something called workflow agents. For example, if you wanted to run multiple agents like a team in order, you would do it with the sequential agent, which you can see right here. And our example actually uses the sequential agent because when the user's input comes in, it goes through each agent in a sequence. And for example, the ad copywriter assistant cannot really work until these two have finished their job. So this is an example of sequential agent.